well, we have excused Dr. Jordan Peterson from the. Is this a recording studio? No, we're in a rented Sh- office space. Makeshift. Makeshift. Jordan had to go catch a plane and continue to get out there and make the world a better place. Good for him. Yes. Good for us. And Echo, speaking of making the world a better place. Sure. <laughs> maybe you can let us know how we might be able to make our world a little bit better. Sure. Of course. Yeah. First thing we can do is stay on the path. Oh. And part of staying on the path is maintaining our physical capability and competent comp- competency. Competency. Is it competence or competency. competency? Competency. We're gonna maintain that. That's what we're <laughs> gonna do on the path. So we have Jocko has supplements, obviously we already know. If you don't know, krill oil. Joint Warfare. So Jocko Super Krill Oil. That's mm-hmm. a Krill Oil supplement. So good. Joint War- Warfare is the glucosamine, chondroitin, and curcumin. Yes. Very good things for your joints. Um, we, you know, at some point we'll go through everything that's in there. Yeah. Not today. Yeah. I, we'll do something so that, because I, I don't want to sit here and talk about, but it's good. Yeah, it's good. Use it. Yeah, use it. The And it's not the kind where... It's good because it's generally healthy to take these things, which it is, but that's not the the main push, in my opinion. Check. The main thing is that if your joints are kind of kind of off, Jacked like up. sore, do jujitsu a lot, do anything, yeah. bro. If you if you do brick laying, what is that, mason? Mason. If you're yeah, like just from you know back elbows and then you start taking this you'll see that you'll feel that difference you specifically will. yeah and it's generally healthy anyway maintain the joints maintain the competency of your joints with jocko super krill joint warfare take them every day that's what i do in the routine also discipline pre-workout it's a pre-workout for me it's it's a pre-mission for me it's a pre-mission pre- straight up pre-mission yeah. cognitive yeah enhancer yeah and i'll tell you the only downfall of it right now well there's a couple number one it tastes delicious so you want to drink a lot of it number two the other day the other day i drank a a lot of it and then i had to go and give a speech yeah i had to use the restroom right before i went on stage which i don't like yeah just be careful well that's a general thing i know i know it doesn't have to be jocko discipline you you can do that with water be careful yeah yeah you want to be careful but didn't you eat some of it like oh can we oh yeah i ate some of it today it's (laughs) see i'm trying to avoid that (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, see so So i I just took a mouth a little scoop yeah and it's not too bad in fact you know what uh you know when you get like a shot of some really nasty alcohol and people sure. do it, sure, but it gives you like a little hook. Yeah, sure. Kind of gives you some of that. Well, yeah. it's, when you take just when you eat the straight powder, sure, which I'm now doing apparently, <laughs> apparently. it gives you a little bit. It gives you a little. Not only you get the the effects of what's in it, but you yeah. get a little bit of a hook. The, the main line, yeah, deal. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like yeah. When you're a kid, you yeah. buy the little Kool Aid. You know, when you before you make the Kool Aid, yep. you get like a yeah. little. You try that stuff straight. That's yeah, kind of yeah, what yeah. it's like. Only it's not quite as horrible as that. It's better know. than that. It's better than Kool Aid, huh? Dang. Oh yeah, definitely better than Kool Aid. Good, Jocko made it taste good. He's into the taste good stuff. Anyway, it's called di- jo- dis- It's called discipline. It's called straight discipline. up. Yeah, straight you'll up. you'll see it. Anyway, get it at originmain.com, and also at originmain.com, you get your, that's where you can get your gi. So you don't have to. Well, you can still ask me what gi you get. No. Don't ask anymore. No, 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 ask. Good. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. And this is what I'll tell you. Go to Origin. Pick a gi from there. Whichever one you want. Plenty color. Not plenty colors, but the legit color. You, I have white. I have one blue gi that I never mm-hmm. use. All I have is white. Mm-hmm. I have a black gi. Someone gave me a black gi and it's yeah. cool. But I've never used it. But because a lot of people ask me that too. What color should I get? Yeah. What color should you get? I am very traditional and I use the white gi. But I do have a deaf gi that's black. Black, yeah, I see these on. But some schools they don't even allow other colors yeah. than white and blue. Yeah, that's true. But Pete says black is the is the number one seller. No kidding. Like if just all colors, black. Yeah. Now, 
Can you compete IBJJF with a black gi? I, I don't know. I, I forget. Know. But here's what we were talking about. When you're a little kid and you think about martial arts, what do you want to be? The ninja? You want to be a ninja. Yeah. And so yeah. now you got a 36-year-old guy or a 28-year-old guy. <laughs> sure. And he finally, he's feeling kind of ninja-ish. Yeah, man. Because he's doing the jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Then he's, you take that one extra step, now yeah. he's got a black gi. Boom, ninja. Yeah. In a, in a matter of speaking. Yeah, and I, f- I actually felt that that's part of the reason why I don't get a black gi. Because I, I kind of wanted, like, not... Like, There's an old Charles Bronson movie. Feathers. What do you mean? An old Charles Bronson movie called The Mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. The and mechanic. There's a there's a there's a scene where the traditional karate guy is gonna fight a guy that's got some new tricks up his sleeve. Sure. And the traditional karate guy has to get nuts on him. Yeah. But he's in a just a plain white gi. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Image that's that tradition. And, and Charles Bronson too. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, yeah, holding and I, the line. Well, strangely, I mainly stick to white because it's kind of that's the the main. Like I'm not doing too much with the with the cool black one. Because mm. let's face it, the the black one, like I said about being a ninja, and it looks cool, but it does. It looks <laughs> it really does. cool. And but I didn't want to roll in and be like, and they think, oh, cool. You think you're you think you're all cool with your black geek kind of yeah. thing. Even no, though the the thing is, I think it's progressed beyond that. Totally, it's, it's beyond that now. Yeah. You, you are not, you are not uh, standing out at no, all at when all, you have yeah. a black key. Yeah. Now uh, you might be if you go to a traditional, you know, school that has only white keys. Yeah, right. you're gonna stand out. You come into Victory MMA and Fitness, you could be wearing a purple key. No one's gonna care. Yeah, no one's even gonna look Pink. at you. Second camouflage. You yeah, mean. no one cares. They might be like, dang, that's a cool camouflage key. They might, they say, might that. say that. They might just put but. a chokehold on you and get after it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there it is. I would say, okay, if they're saying, hey, Jocko. Echo, what gi should I get? What color should I get? We know origin. What color should I get? A, ask your school first. Yeah. Because some they don't point. allow. Good you, point. You're going to buy your cool black gi or there's like an army green one. Is there an army green yeah. one? You're going to buy it and they look dope and you're solid. You're ready to go and you come in and they say you can't train with yeah. that. You can't have that. So ask your school first. If they allow all colors, then that one's up to you, bro. Yeah. But but the the point is with asking what color is that i think i think that they're like hey is there like a violation if i no. get this cool black one and you answered it yeah now no, no, no unless cares. your school does it's literally no factor literally no factor check so they got a lot anyway originmain.com that's where you get them also on it.com slash jocko this is where i get the kettlebells the dope kettlebells. You didn't talk about rash rash guards. Oh, at origin. Yeah, yeah. And because the reason that it popped into my mind because they have spats now. Because they have spats now. Yeah. The first run of spats are green and like some other color. Yeah, yellow or lime yeah. green. Yeah, right. Interesting. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I sent Pete a text. Now yeah. I'm not a, a spats wearing dude. No, sure. I'm not wearing tights. Not happening. No, no sure. nothing against people that do. Yeah. There's some there's some crazy jujitsu guys out there that are wearing tights like you read about. Yeah, man. <laughs> but <laughs> I said I said I said, yeah. hey Pete, mm-hmm. I'm not wearing tights. Yeah. I know a lot of people that do. Mm-hmm. Make some black ones or something else. Yeah. And he said, Got it. Yeah. So you can get obviously the rash guards are good to go. Yeah. But now you can also get spats that are not so we're sticking with spats. We're sticking then. with spats. Well, we figured out the root of spats, yeah, right? They were dope. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. It's not. It's, I thought it would root back to you know some ballerina. Yeah, some ballerina thing. No, yeah. it's war. Yeah, it's what you yeah, wore on your legs when you were a cavalryman. Yep. Yeah. And, so we can say spats. It's been approved. Yeah, and football, it's command. the same thing. Yeah, it's you. You tape your yeah. shoe and your. So we're good. Ankle. Yeah, fully interesting color choice. Yeah, the first one. Here's the thing, though. Yeah, about the spats. Yeah, some colors you don't see. Like, like if if I was like, "Hey, I'm I'm gonna wear this lime green and yellow thing, whatever shirt, yeah. spats, whatever," and you'd be like, "Lime green, yellow, that just doesn't even sound good." I'm looking at these two colors. I don't think that's gonna look good. But then you put it on a shirt or spats or something, and then you put it on. You're like, "Oh, dang, that kind of works for some reason." I'm not saying lime green and yellow does that. I'm just saying yeah. certain color co- yeah combinations. So here's are the like interesting that. thing. Pete's my bro. Right, <laughs> sure. Me, of Pete, course, Pete, yeah. My literally, too. the first time I had a um, uh, Skype conversation with Pete, mm-hmm. my wife was like, "It sounded like you were talking, talking to yourself, yeah, right?" Yeah, yeah. Because we and we that was a four-hour conversation, by the way. <laughs> Damn. 
shank, bro. Now, with that that being said, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have made spats that looked like the first spats that he had come out with in a million years. Now, here's <laughs> now here's the funny thing. I can't even yeah. say I can't even say, hey, Pete, don't you know? No one's gonna like those. You know why? Because my sense of fashion, yeah, is so off. My yeah. sense of fashion is non-existent. Well, it, yeah, it would, it's literally non-existent. It would be non-existent if you even had one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. Well, no, it's non-existent. Yeah. If you had one, it would be. <laughs> Get it? It's like double non-existent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, so I, that's why I can't even say, "Hey, Pete." I can't say. I can't make a, a blanket statement like, "Pete, people won't like those." Yeah. I can't even say that because yeah, I have you don't no know. idea. Yeah, it's true. So I just said what I do know is people would definitely like some black ones. Right. Yeah, that's pretty safe to say. So, yeah. Yeah, that's I that. I don't mind the green ones, by the way. But well, there you go. You, you, even we've had this stuff. We've had issues like this. Yes. Where you make things that I, I just don't. Yeah, they're, unapproved. I'm not, I'm, yeah, they're unapproved. Yeah. Unapproved across the board. Yeah, but I just know you just kind of just don't know. And yeah, and, cool. I, and, I, and I say, okay, you know, I don't know. That's, I got to stay humble over here. Yeah. I can't claim to th- claim to have any, any footing to stand on at all when it comes to Fashion, fashion of any kind. Yeah. Other than haircuts. I'm pretty good with those. You know what? Yeah. Shave sure. your head. I agree. Next question. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, again, orgyming.com. There's a lot of cool stuff on those hoodies and stuff too, by the way. Yeah. Which and this is a this is a bi not biased, um, what do you call it? Subjective. When I was wearing the full origin sweatsuit mm-hmm. at home. <laughs> I laid down on the couch, just took a break or whatever. No, I don't normally do that. Took it a would, break from what? Cruising? Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, doing whatever it is I was doing. Took a break, laid down on the couch, full sweat suit on origin. It was the most comfortable moment I had in recent memory. And just so everyone knows, if you're talking about Echo's comfort levels, they're already exceeding yeah, very high. high. It's they're saying very a lot. High. That's yes. saying a lot. I know the you know, comfort. I know about it. I'm very familiar with it. And yeah, it was. I'm not saying a lot. So yeah, there it is. Okay, back to on it. The kettlebells that I get, whole set. Almost the whole set. Primal bells, zombie bells, legend bells. They're the kettlebells. Mm. That's where you get them on it.com slash Jocko. Also, they got some cool maces on there. Jocko is the mace, right? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. 20 if pounder. You, you think 20 pounds is not heavy? Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. It's really heavy. That's one of yeah. those things. And we kind of yeah. talked about it before where you th- weight, like weight, like this many pounds or, you know, kilos, whatever. It's, a, it's not cre- all created equal. Like if it's oh, shaped sure. in a certain form yeah. or formless or whatever that's way different yeah like my daughter i think i forget how much she even weighs now like 53 pounds or something mm-hmm. like that 53 pounds is nothing as far as lifting goes, yeah, yeah for sure. lift it yeah try to lift her when she don't want to be lifted bro she's she like base she, <laughs> she has a good face feel like 150 pounds nonetheless the point there is with these maces and there's other cool stuff on there if you want to vary up your workout make it interesting Unlike Jocko's workout, make it make yours interesting. If you want to do that, you don't have to. There's some really good stuff on there. Check them out. And, you know, if you want something, get something. Also, when you get Jordan Peterson's 12 rules, just call it 12 rules. 12 rules. 12 rules for life, an antidote to chaos. Jordan B. Peterson. It's 12 rules for life is like, it seems like a big claim, you know? Yeah. But they're pretty. They're pretty solid. They're pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. follow them. Solid. Nonetheless, that uh, that is a good one. Um, when you get that one, and any other any of the other books, don't worry, I organized them all for you. Go to jockopodcast.com. Somebody said the other day on the internet, said to me, "Oh, you should have a book club. We got a book club. Sure. Go to jockopodcast.com and click on books. All the books are there. That's the club right there. Yeah, don't have to ask me about the book club. The books are there." Right. Yeah, idea. Yeah. We got it organized for you by episode, by the way. Mm-hmm. Little brief description. Mm-hmm. Uh, click on there. Boom. Get your book from there. It's a good way to support. Takes to Amazon. You can get your book if you are doing other shopping. Hey, carry on. Just do your thing. No one's going to stop you from that, of course. And that supports the podcast. Good way to support. Small action, big reaction. Also, subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already. That one seems obvious. I know. But. 
it's a good way to support. Just a little good way to support. Just and subscribe. write a review, a funny review. Yeah, I'm go like once a week now. I go and read all the new reviews. Yeah, yeah looking yeah. for gems. Yeah, there's some gems in there. <laughs> you guys Straight are funny. up gems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you feel like it. Um, yeah, so so subscribe, write a review if you want. Subscribe to YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. If you didn't know that already, um, that's where the video version of this podcast resides. You like that? Resides. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> also, <laughs> excerpts on there if you don't want to listen or watch. Should I say the whole episode or episodes? Got some excerpts on there. You can just watch little, um, you know, little excerpts, little tidbits of the podcast, little ideas, little lessons, tips of advice in shorter form. You know, when you take a break at work or whatever. Check. Not that you should be watching YouTube at work, but if you are, you watch this, boom, get back to work, more effective, probably. Probably. Also some other stuff on there. I'm gonna, we're going to try to slowly add more and more, what should I say, content. Not just for the sake of adding content, by the way. Because I make videos from time to time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very spaced out over I mean, time. You know, they're, you know, we're trying to get them done. Nonetheless, I'm, uh, we're going to put more. In. There's going to be more and more on there. It's a new year, right? Well, it's February now. Talk so. is cheap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Also, Jocko has a store. It's called Jocko Store. JockoStore.com. That, this is the website, online store, where you can get... Discipline equals freedom shirts, rash guards, the victory MMA and fitness shirt that Jocko always wears, <laughs> like Einstein, by the way. I think Einstein wore the same thing every day, too. Uh-huh. Is that why you do it? No, I do it because it's simple, not because Einstein does it. Actually, they say that this is you and Einstein wear the same thing every day for the same reason. Yeah, because this is what they say. Less decision making. Yeah, because yeah. your decision making, you know resources yeah i don't really believe all that i just believe hey i don't feel like sitting around thinking about what i'm gonna wear in the morning just right. grab the i have a shirt drawer guess what's right. in it shirts pull yeah. one out put it on right you have bigger things to make Next decisions question. about and yeah. think about that's exactly what i'm saying that's what i read too so you guys you and einstein <laughs> are like i don't want to say obsessed you're like you're just real into more important things so what you wear that's that that's that shouldn't take up too many of your decision making resources. The thing about Jocko store, yeah. I don't know if you've ever made this clear. Well, maybe you have, but if you want to support the podcast, that's a good way to support the podcast. For a while people wanted us to do a thing where you donate money. Yeah. And I said, mm, well, "No." Yeah. If people want to support. They, we're not going to ask for money and give them nothing. Yeah. We'll give them something, a t-shirt, a hat, a yeah. sticker. A, yeah, good stuff, by the way. It's not the shirt that makes the man. It's the man that makes the shirt. So, well, okay. There you go. Nonetheless, there are... Are you saying that because you're the one that makes these shirts? <laughs> no, I think it's a, that's a, it's a different thing. I think I saw it on the movie. Uh, What was it? The one with Sean Connery and Catherine Zeta, Catherine okay. Zeta Jones. Continue. Remember that one? No. <laughs> Remember? They had to steal something. Continue. Right, you know what movie I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, there's some hoodies on there, some hats on there. Um, we're restocking. Actually, I'm doing a thing because the people email because you know there's stuff out of stock and then yeah. You know, guess what? Not never again. I'm hesitant to say never say never, but yeah, never again. Okay, so everything is in stock right now. N- not necessarily. Okay, come back when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> in the meantime, just keep being your lame self. The system over there. that I'm working on is all very close to being complete. Okay. So they'd be available, and some new stuff's gonna be on there. Also, rash guards on there for jujitsu mm-hmm. or for anything physical. You know, you're doing physically. You want to keep your range of motion. You know, whatever. Anyway, you know what rash guards are. They're they're pretty dope. Um, also, women's stuff on there, and. I am not saying, I say this a lot, I'm going to say it again. I'm not saying buy something. I'm saying go on there. Just look. If you don't want anything, then don't get something. But if you do want something, get something. It's a good way to support. Also. That's really uh, deep. You know, I'm trying to keep it deep. (laughs) (laughs) You know. If you want something, get something. If you don't want something, don't. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll abide by that. Is it kind of like, you know how like when people say, it is what it is. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Whatever. You don't want to say, hey, it is uh, what it is. 
Yes. Jocko's not going to be anyone but Jocko. You know, Jocko's Jocko. True. Right? Same thing. You know, why do you say that? You know, kind of. I say that for the same reason. Also, Psychological Warfare. If you don't know what that is, it's an album with tracks, Jocko tracks, not Jocko playing the ukulele or the violin or what else do you play? <laughs> no, drums. I don't play the violin. Uh, I can't really play the drums too well either. Yeah. But you play stuff. Nonetheless, it's none of that. It's Jocko t- giving you. So each track is Jock, a Jock, Jocko's, how should I say, tips. Not really tips. They're kind of tips on how to eliminate the weakness that you're feeling at any given moment on your path, on your campaign, on the campaign against weakness. That's what it is. So if you're about to skip your workout because A, you don't feel like it, B, you don't think you have time or something like this, or usually it's because you don't feel like it because you worked out yesterday, you're kind of sore, like you were going to do squats today. But you did a bunch of burpees yesterday. So your lower back and your quads, they're kind of sore. So you're like, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. No. So all you got to do, it's like, it's like put in psychological warfare. Listen to, there's a, there's a track for that. And he'll, he'll just explain, just in his own little Jocko way, explain why you shouldn't do that. Why you should just do the workout. And after you listen to it, you'll be like, dang, that makes sense. And guess what? Boom. All of a sudden, you're doing the workout. You didn't skip it. That's what you do. If you like that, you can also get Discipline Equals Freedom Field Manual on iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, other MP3 platforms. It's not on Audible. It's not on Audible. It's available as an album. Actually, two albums. Also, you get Jocko White Tea, which, as everybody now knows, will increase your deadlift to a minimum of 8,000 pounds been proven over and over again everyone mm-hmm. knows it now it's really not impressive anymore yeah. since so many people are hitting that 8,000 pound max books Jordan B Peterson maps of meaning is his first book it's old it's big it's expensive I have it it's it's a great read also 12 rules for life an antidote to chaos way the warrior kid so way the warrior kid kids book Teaching kids to how get how to get on the path. Now, there's a new book coming out, a new Warrior Kid book. It is available now on Amazon. It's called Way of the Warrior Kid, Mark's Mission. It's a follow-up. The first book was fifth grade. The second book, sixth grade. Mark's getting a little older. Guess what? He's still got some problems to solve, and he's going to solve them. So you can order that. Also... As I already mentioned, Discipline Equals Freedom, Field Manual, that is available if you want to get bigger, stronger, faster, smarter, more disciplined, better, get that book. And then implement it, because you can get the book and sit, sit around and, and play video games. It's not going to make you any of those things. Sure. You have to actually get it. You have to read it. You have to implement it. So that works. Oh, also with the Warrior Kids. Don't forget, you can get some Warrior Kids soap, basically. <laughs> I got some. Did you get some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to go. IrishOaksRanch.com. Young Aiden, who's a Warrior Kid, making his own soap, business owner, age 12. Check that out. Extreme Ownership, book by myself and my brother, Leif Babin. It's about combat leadership. It's about how to lead. That's what it's about. And people think that's a simple thing. It's not. You even heard Jordan B. Jordan B. Peterson say today, leadership is very complicated. He's right. So extreme ownership will help you in your leadership skills, tactics, and strategies. Also, if you need leadership guidance and direction at your company, at your business, or at your team, beyond what we give you here on this podcast and beyond the books, I have a leadership and management consulting company. It's called Echelon Front, where we will get the leadership you have and thereby your whole organization aligned and moving forward together. It's me, it's Leif Babin, it's JP Donnell, it's Dave Burke. You can email info at echelonfront.com or you can go to the website, echelonfront.com. Also, there is the muster. This is a leadership seminar that hits you 
like an atom bomb. <laughs> so sure. the muster, everyone that's been to it, there's nothing else like it. The people that work at the hotels we've done it at have said there's nothing else like it. So it's awesome. If you want to come to it, we're only doing two musters this year. We don't have time to do more. We're doing one in Washington, D.C., May 17th and 18th. That's for the East Coast people. May 17th and 18th, Washington, D.C., and then we're going to do San Francisco, October 17th and 18th. That's for your West Coast people. Those are the only two musters that we're doing this year. We're not doing Vancouver. We're not doing Atlanta. We're not doing Memphis. We're not doing Tampa. Those are all great cities, but we're not going to do a muster there. We've had four musters already. San Diego, New York City, San Diego again, and Austin, Texas. All the musters that we've done have sold out. These two that we're doing this year are gonna sell out as well. So if you wanna come, register at extremeownership.com. We will see you there. And until then, if you wanna get on the path with us, you can find us. We'll be cruising on the interwebs on Twitter, on Instagram, and on that face, da booky boha. <laughs> Jordan Peterson is at Jordan B. Peterson. He's also got the YouTube channel, Jordan Peterson. He's got jordanpeterson.com. Echo is at Echo Charles, and I am at Jocko Willink.